Jonathan, how did adding your hip hop career as part of Dolo's character kind of come about? Um, honestly, it's just amazing. It was just amazing for me. So I, Dolo is actually, I go by the name Joe Dolo on stage, right? So I'm an ex-professional hockey player and I make music. I go by the name Joe Dolo. So Jared tumbled upon my story and kind of liked it. And he literally wrote something speci- specifically for me. That's why, you know, I'm playing Dolo. I'm play- literally playing myself. And uh, yeah, like having some of my music in the show is just huge. It's a big blessing for me. I thank Jared and the production so many times. But uh, honestly, yeah, it's just a big thing for me. We got music playing episode two and six. And uh, yeah, man, I already see it like helping my career, helping the numbers. I already see the, the, the impact on it. So I can only be thankful. That's, That's right. incredible. And uh, Ryan... Yeah. Uh, or sorry. Yeah, Ryan. Uh, Michaels has a really wide range of emotions. You know, he'll be extremely sad and then extremely angry. How how hard was it to hit those extremes? Um, I don't know. I don't. I hope that's not just speaking of like what I'm like. But no. Um, <laughs> yeah. No. The, I mean, the, the way it was written, it was just uh, as as soon as I got through all scripts, uh, all six scripts, um, I could tell that there was like just a huge meter on him uh especially you know being like a ex ncaa guy uh has coached but has also had some life turmoil as well um and uh so you i i want to you know he's kind of the brunt of some jokes for sure but i wanted to give him a little bit of a human kind of touch too so i mean like I said, I said in another interview, like, you know, you're only as good as your material. And Jared obviously like uh, wrote some amazing scenes uh, for him. And uh, yeah. So, I mean, it, it's just super fun to play. I wouldn't say it was like super hard necessarily, but um, a lot of it's really situational. So it was, uh, it was just, the, the, it's, it was a hoot going to, going to set and doing those. Awesome. And yeah. Terry, having played in the NHL, what were your thoughts when you were approached by the show to play, a hockey player. It's interesting because I'm actually of the hockey players. I'm in the acting union. I started. Oh. Uh, I, I started doing locations in the early 2010s, set deck, and I talked my way into some stunts on the show Frontier. The very, very first scene of Frontier, I largely got because I had no tooth, and it called for a soldier to be beat up. So <laughs> a- anyway, um, I. I started there, but I still didn't really expect any of this. So, you know, it's it's a job around here. I live in St. John's, Newfoundland. And uh, so it, it, it still was all really surprising. And, and the way it all went down, um, you know, being a hockey player coming in. Yeah, like I said, it's hard because I've probably done nine or ten things. On, you know, I played a crack head, a drug dealer, uh, you know, a soldier, a lot of things without the tooth, but other than a hockey player. <laughs> so. Yeah. You know, I got the call. And I didn't see it coming. You know, I, like I said, I'm in the acting union, but it's all around here. St. John's. We've got a lively scene for that. And it was basically just connecting dots and making a paycheck. Uh, so to, to get the call to travel to Sudbury and and, you know, I'm a big fan of Letter. Well, all three of us here are big fan of Letter Kenny. So it was surreal, you know, and I like I've often said to people, I, I, I expected my first NHL game to some degree because I played hockey like it was a dream. It was overwhelming, but I kind of expected it. But you know, 10 years ago, I'm not even an actor. So I, to, to, I'm a huge Letter Kenny fan. So like be, being in the scenes, like with people that, and the crew with a lot of overlap there too. There was a big flavor of it. And it was just, it was surreal on, on every level. I can't really explain it other than that. That's incredible. And uh, Jonathan, you, you, you said that Dolo has, you know, your, your name in it. How much more of the character is similar to you in real life? Like, was it very much informed by, who you are was a lot of it kind of written by Jared beforehand. No, honestly, it's a hundred percent who I am. You know what I'm saying? Maybe like, let's say 90, 98, because uh, I pushed the Quebecois accent like a lot in, in, <laughs> in my speaking, you know, that's what they wanted. And I think it's pretty cool, but uh, honestly, not nah, everything from where I'm from my, to my name, to me smoking weed, to me doing everything. It's just me. Literally Jared wrote about me. And um, that honestly, when I got the call, I was just super like, amazed you know at first i thought it was a joke i didn't even uh like i i left kara on read and she had to talk to my to my friends uh, in order to contact me because i thought it was a joke at first but no i can only be thankful like i said awesome and ryan uh what about shorzy drew you to the project initially well honestly like i uh 
I, well, I'm not any of the pro hockey players here. So I was, uh, I was just auditioning and, um, uh, you know, my, my managers, uh, sent it my way and, uh, I saw the, who was all involved and what it was. And I just thought I was like, Oh, Oh my God. Um, I want this. <laughs> uh, I I've known Jared over the years too. So that made it even more special. And, um, you know, the prospect of getting on there was, was super exciting. And, uh, Hey, I, and then I found out it was a long process, but, uh, you know, I found out about halfway through that they were interested, uh, that they liked, um, uh, like my tape essentially. And, uh, and so uh, what it was drawing me to it, it wasn't so much like I, I was just, I, I'd be, I was honored to be a part of it. So I'm just, I, I count my lucky stars that I'm here with everyone. So very great. Awesome. Yeah. And Terry, you've been a hockey player, an author, an actor, a podcaster. Are there any other career routes that you're interested in trying out or are you, are you satisfied with where you're at? I there tried stand up comedy too, if you can believe it. Oh, really? I didn't even know that. on stage. There, you know what? That would be great because I love, <laughs> I really do love Dolo's music. My favorite is Just Sweet Diaby. Check it out now wherever you can get <laughs> yeah, your tunes. Man. Just Sweet Diaby. I, I still say I'm going to get the tattoo and I don't, it's not going to make much sense. But uh, yeah, I mean, you know, I tried stand up comedy, which morphed into public speaking. But uh, I, I don't know. A lot of it, I, I like it, you know, it, it appears on the surface that, you know, this guy is great. He, he, he takes all these chances that are po positive. There's a lot of ups and downs. I was, I'm a first round pick. I did not live up to my NHL potential. And then I got hurt and I couldn't go back. And, and I, it really affected me uh, ment mentally and physically for a while. And, you know, I battled back. I got my degree. And, you know, these things happen because I've got people in the right places that I guess took a shining. Um, but. You know, th th when the opportunity came, I, I figured I'd, I'd I'd seize the day if I could, Carpe DM. But, but it, you know, a lot of it, it it's opportunistic, and it was to pay bills. I've got a 12 year old daughter that's been through all of it with me, and she's happy, and I'm happy, and this is a good time for us. But I know it looks interesting, but a lot of it was to pay the bills. To be quite honest with you, that's still impressive either way, for sure. <laughs> and uh, Jonathan, just to wrap up here, uh, what's has more pressure, hockey or acting? Hockey, but I mean, I would say hockey because acting, um, I was having more fun doing it. You know what I'm saying? Hockey was, hockey was a lot of stress for me. It could be a whole nother um, interview, you know what I'm saying? Hockey opened the door for me to play Shorzy, but like Terry, you know, a lot of ups and downs, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of frustrations, a lot of tough moments, a lot of good times too. But uh, 100% hockey was more stressful for me. Acting was just like, you know, living for me, bro. It's in the DNA. It's having fun, you know. You just learn your script and you show up ready. So, but I can say that hockey prepared me for acting very well. Comes across on screen, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. But no, nah, hockey was a lot of stress. <laughs> Makes sense. Well, thank you guys all for doing this. Uh, all great in the show. And uh, here's hoping that uh, I get to see more of you guys in season two.